What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now I've just had a guy I know on Instagram just sent me a message saying he's closing down his tank this weekend. Someone's kind of pick it up tomorrow. He's got a few fish left in it which he needs to get rid of and he doesn't want to take to the fish shop. So he is bringing me five big fully grown silver dollars in the next 10 minutes or so. So I've got a bucket ready to get him into a buck, into a sort of warmer water outside the front and then we'll get him inside the fish room and then acclimate him. And then I'm probably gonna put them in this tank here, quarantine them for a bit, let them settle in there for a couple of days or so, see if anything goes on. And then eventually I'll probably put them in, in this tank here with the arowana and the two big Oscars. And we could also put them in the 2000 litre tank, but I have got six silver dollars at the moment in there. But anyway, let's get them here and then see what these fish look like. So I've got the fish, Dave's just been around and dropped the fish off. They are in this bucket here, obviously. Sorry, I've got my little Yorkshire Terrier uh, playing with my fingers right now. But let me show you how big these fish are, because they are quite big. I'm a bit worried about one of them, it's sort of going on its side, but I think it's because the journey, it's just been a bit stressed out. So fingers crossed, we can bring it back to full health. But uh, let me show you. So, there they are. They are pretty much full grown. They've got a little bit more grain to do, but they are big old silver dollars. They are just common silver dollars. I do really like silver dollars because they sort of show together. They do look wicked in big tanks. Um, it'd be really nice to do like, say, 15, 20 of these guys in a tank one day, you know, like with an arrow on or something like that, even a stingray at the bottom. But yeah, really pleased with this. And um, really nice of him to drop them off. Obviously, I haven't paid for these fish. I'm just taking them off his hands because he knows they're going to a good home. So we're going to be putting the silver dollars in this tank here. It is basically my quarantine tank um, slash grow up tank. So I've got four birches in this tank about three, uh, three bristlenose pleco common ones. So the silver dollars just settling really well in here for the next few days, um, see how they get on. So yeah, let's get the silver dollars in this tank. So the silver dollars have been in this bucket now for about 20 minutes or so, they're settling well. The temperature in this bucket will be about 26 degrees. So it come out of my monster tank out there, which is 27-ish. So it's probably gone down about, about a degrees or so, which, which is good because this tank I've got set up now is on 25.5 which is going to be perfect for these guys to go straight in here. So it's really important to acclimate fish when you get new fish because it can massively shock fish. They sort of go upside down and they can eventually die. So you need to be really careful with that. But anyway, let's get the net and net these fish straight in this tank. Obviously this tank is not big enough to house these silver dollars, but it's only for a few days to let these fish settle in to my water parameters around here to get them fed and to check there's no sort of diseases or anything like that going on with these fish. I'm sure we'll be fine because the guy was keeping fish for years. He knows what he's doing, but um, he never want to take a risk. Now, I've just had a look at the tank here and um, I actually put one of them in this tank and they are just way too big for this tank. This tank's tiny for these fish. You know, they've come from like a 600 litre tank going into a 150 litre tank. It's just not fair. So. I haven't really got a choice, I've got to put these fish straight in the uh, 1000 litre tank behind us with the Asian Arowana, the two Oscars, the cow latches. They should be fine because these fish has, have actually lived with my silver dollars out in the other room. So, fingers crossed we'll be fine, but I haven't really got a choice. These fish have sort of kind of been dumped on me today. So, um, let's see how it goes. Okay, so that's all five of those silver dollars added into this big aquarium. Um, the Asian Arowana has obviously gone round and sort of checked him out. He hasn't damaged or anything, anything like that. He's um, just sort of swimming around, show, because obviously he's the boss of the tank, so he's new fish added, he's thinking what's going on. But when they show together, they'll be absolutely fine. This Asian Arowana isn't actually that big, it's not fully grown yet, so I'm not gonna be worried about them. And they are actually quite massive um, silver dollars to be fair. But anyway, let's come out in a couple of hours, maybe tonight, um, see how these fish are doing once all the lights are on. Um, we'll actually do a feed and we we'll see how well they feed because they are absolutely massive fish So I'm quite excited to show you this, but I just want to say thanks Dave. Thanks for dropping off mate I really do appreciate it. I know I was doing you a favor taking this off your hands because obviously your tank was getting closed down But really appreciate it mate. These fish are absolutely awesome. So let's come out in a few hours and see how they're getting on Okay, everyone, so it's been uh, How long has it been now? What were we six o'clock at night? I've got these fish about 12 o'clock. So it's been about six hours or so since we added the silver dollars. They are doing absolutely fine. I have actually just been out as well. I've just got this flugel plant um, like off the Facebook marketing page for 30 quid, I couldn't believe it, 30 quid. The guy was selling it on there, obviously it needs a good clean, it's in completely 
disgusting condition, but I've just tried it. It works, works with the app and everything. These lights are like 200, I think even 230 quid to buy something out new. So, absolute bargain, really pleased with that. And that will be going on the new seven foot tank when that comes. And also, while I'm on the camera, I want to quickly just show you another experiment which I'm doing. So, as some of you may know, I've got a snakehead set up here. Now, the only fish I've got in this tank is obviously the Golden Cobra snakehead. And I had a look last night, and obviously I'm getting problems with algae and stuff growing on the gra glass. But the problem is with these fish, obviously they're subtropical fish, so you've got to turn the temperature down in the winter and autumn, and then bring it back up in the spring and summer. But I have spoken to my mate at Lee Valley Aquatics, and he said you can put um, bristle nose in the tanks with them because bristle nose can go down quite cold as well, which is good. And bristle nose are a fantastic fish at eating algae. So I have been at my four foot tank out in the lounge, and I've grabbed myself two albino bristle nose, which I've got here. They're actually both females. Let me show you. So I don't know if you can see on there, it's going to be quite hard to actually show you on the camera. Let me. That's probably a better view. So you can see two albino bristle nose in this little cup I've got here. Um, I'm just going to plonk them in this tank. They've been in this cup now probably for 20 minutes or so. So I'm kind of letting the water cool down, if that makes sense. Because this tank is 22 degrees. The tank they come from is 25 degrees. So I'm going to put these straight in this tank now and then I can show you the silver dollars. So that's the plecos in the tank. Um, obviously the plecos have gone straight on the back of the glass. They're already starting to clean algae off the tank, which is good. So I was halfway through filming the video of adding a new silver dollars, which you got for free for this tank, and the camera died. So let me just show you these fish. So it's been like over a week now since you've added them. They've settled in absolutely fine. But they are really big silver dollars, as silver dollars go. Because when you get them from the shops, they are sort of like 50p size. But they are really nice silver dollars. I'm well pleased with these. And obviously I've got these fish for free, he sort of gifted them to me. There are some new bags in here, I'm not going to show you right now on this video because that is for another video. So there's some really cool stuff going in these tanks which I've got over here. Some proper pretty fish, so I really can sort of afford to that. But yeah, silver dollars are settled in really well, they're feeding well. They just look absolutely wicked shoaling together. I'm probably going to add these to the other silver dollars in the bigger tank eventually because I do like to keep them all together like that. I'll have about 10 then, I think there's 5 in the other tank as well. And there's 5 here, so it will be 10. And we've got some new fish for this tank, which I've just bought, which are going to be growing out in one of the smaller tanks behind us. Wicked purchase off Dave. Thanks so much, Dave, for bringing these fish round. I will be keeping these fish. I won't be getting rid of them, so don't worry about them going anywhere else. They're doing absolutely fine in my tank. Now, guys, I shouldn't really be showing you this because um, it's just an update seeing how the um, bristle nose are getting on. They've been in here like nearly over a week now, so they're doing absolutely fine. There are fish in the background I don't want to show you because they're new fish I've added to this tank. So there's one of the bristle nose there and there is another one over on the filter at the other side. So I'm not going to actually show you it, but just wanted to update you, let you know the bristle nose are absolutely fine at a cooler temperature. So all good. And they're actually going around doing a fantastic job at cleaning all the algae. So yeah guys, thanks for watching the video as always. Like and subscribe to my channel, ding the notification bell and keep it real everyone.